G'day, it's Mel and Thuris with episode 39 of Fearless Singer. There's actually going to be two podcast episodes this week. This one, which is rather impromptu, as well as an interview with a, an amazing singer, Victoria Watson, from an iconic Brisbane band, Some Jerk. So stay tuned for that this week. And today, I want to talk about the fact that if you are a singer or you have a desire to sing or a professional voice user, storyteller, that more than ever, the world needs to hear your voice. And I know that's a big overarching thing to talk about, but we understand that we're currently in a tricky time here on the earth, here in Australia, as well as overseas. And we know that there is a belief that we are all separate. But from the spiritual teachings that I am familiar with, my belief is that we are all connected. We are not separate. Se being separate to another person is just an illusion. You know, we're separated by these sacks of meat around us, but there is a collective consciousness and we're all part of it. We're all connected to it. And whether you believe that from a spiritual perspective or you believe that from a scientific perspective, it doesn't really matter. But more than ever, it's important that if you have that understanding, that deep understanding, that you begin to share that through your singing, through sharing stories, whether that looks like on a stage or whether it looks like on social media or whether you're in a group of your friends that we start promoting this idea of we're connected and the idea of being separate is an illusion and that we start really talking and singing about peace and I had a great fear about talking about this I'm going to be really transparent because there is definitely a fear of, you know, being political as a entrepreneur and as a singer. And there's a fear of saying the wrong thing, getting things wrong. Um, there's a fear of having these very awkward conversations. There's a fear of revealing myself to be very much attached to a a spiritual belief in how things operate but I have a great desire to do my bit to do my part in creating change here in this world that we're currently living in not just for the people I love and for myself but for future generations and also for people that I don't even personally know for children to grow up and and feel safe that should be a right not a privilege and that's for all children <laughs> so I'm doing my bit and I start here you know talking about it on the podcast using my voice and not just using my voice, but like all good musicians, using my ears to be deeply listening, to listen with empathy and to know that I will never understand. I'll never understand as a white person, able body, what it means to live in marginalized groups. So... What I can do is I can listen with empathy and know that I have, I've got nothing to justify or prove. I just want a better world for all of us, you know. So using our ears, using our voice. And I'll just talk about a lovely interview that I read when I was young. It was in Downbeat magazine. It's a jazz magazine. And it was an interview with Wayne Shorter famous jazz saxophonist who's just recently passed and I have shared this before but I'll share it again he said that 
before he would practice, uh, or as he was about to walk out on stage, he would connect to what he wanted to see in the world. And he said that when he played his instrument, that he played for what he wanted to see in the world and he played for peace because he understood the the divine nature of music and that it is a powerful source that we connect to that we are conduits musicians are conduits we channel this and we we bring this out into this 3d reality space and it's there to heal he understood that and even doing that even again if your understanding isn't spiritual in nature it's more about the human being connect to those feelings of love when you're playing connect to those emotions that really uplift because i guarantee you even on a psychological basis you will be improving the cellular biology of the people in the room if you're if you're connecting to that and bringing that forth so that's another thing that we could be doing by using our voice so this is just a short one what is your fear let's let's identify what the fear is when it comes to sharing your your unique stories stories that you know are going to have an enormous capacity to heal what is your fear of sharing your beliefs around what's happening in the world you know whether you share that at gigs or whether you share that again on social media or share that through your songwriting so what is let's let's begin by identifying the fear and shining a light on it and i wonder then can we coach ourselves around it what would be the worst thing that could happen and then keep going what would be the worst thing that could happen what would be the worst thing and then ask yourself a very important question what what an enormous good will come out of it flip it around and ask ask the universe to show you the 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 power of that to give you examples so I'm going to stop this here and let you know too that I, I will be doing this work because I know that I have been living in fear around sharing my voice around this and it's really important to me to do play my part, play my part in the bigger picture. I know that I'm just this tiny, this tiny little speck. But we're all these tiny little particles that, you know, can, can create such enormous positive change if we start doing the work. So Fearless Singer really is moving into this space, is about really identifying, okay, what are those fears that are stopping us from doing this, this great work? And how do we start to integrate the shadow? How do we, you know... And how do we elevate, you know, because, you know, there's one thing living your dream life, you know, and that's really important. It's important that you are doing that. But also let's now connect the dots. It's important that we start, you know, equalizing the playing field for everybody that we're all living our dream lives together because otherwise, well, what's the point? Anyway, <laughs> bit of a mic drop statement at the end there. Uh, wishing you loads of love and if anything in this resonated or if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Feel free to DM me as well. I'm on Instagram at Mel uh, I'm also on Facebook, Mel Lathuris Music. Uh, you can send me an email. Uh, feel free to hit subscribe if, if you enjoy this kind of content. And um, I'll see you soon.